what is up guys i haven't made a video in a week or two uh, i hope you guys are enjoying pre-patch i know that i have been enjoying pre-patch and that's kind of what this video is going to be about actually um it's gonna be a little bit different than my normal videos normally i would make videos on like more competitive aspects of the game i think plus raid uh like optimizing your dps rotation and, and stuff like that but what i want to talk to you today about is the new leveling that is introduced with pre-patch I don't know if you've seen this yet, but speed levelers are going insane right now with this new leveling and the Dark Moon Fair buff and the, uh, what is it, World PvP buff and the freaking uh, uh, WoW 16th anniversary event. So what that means is that speed levelers have been able to do sub four hour 10 to 50 runs, right? Level 10 to level 50 runs. And what that means is that if he works a day job, right? And got home at, uh, what would it be? I guess four o'clock, right? If he got home at four o'clock, he could level two characters, right? Two characters to max level and get to bed by midnight which is kind of bonkers. That's just ridiculous to me. So once I saw this sort of stuff, I decided that I'd like to do some leveling. And I saw maybe, I, I think I saw Harl Dan do like a leveling uh, sort of guide in like maybe three weeks ago or something, I think, before all these buffs came out. And that's kind of when I decided I'd like to start leveling, not speed leveling or anything, just thought, ah, I'll give leveling a try during pre-patch because there's not really too much else to do during pre-patch. I'm not sure if you guys feel the same way, but that's kind of how I feel. Um, and over the past couple weeks, I was able to get five characters to max level, uh, at the time of this video, at least. I might end up having more, uh, I'm actually sure I'll ha end up having more, uh, before pre-patch ends. And it honestly did not take very much work. On average, I was just, like, relaxing and, like, chilling with my friends while I leveled, like, after work and stuff. It was just, like, a relaxing thing to do, and it was, like, I was just, like, you know, playing, like, an RPG or something. Uh, it was like, I, it felt like I was playing WoW again, like, like classic WoW almost. Uh, of course not as hard because the leveling's way easier, which is awesome in my opinion, but it, it felt like I was playing a MMORPG again and, you know, I was actually progressing characters and playing new specs and classes and stuff. It was very fun. And like I said, with the Dark Moon Fair buff, uh, this week, the anniversary event and war mode being on, leveling was just like super fast. And I kind of want to give an overview of this new system with chromie time and all of that. Um, along with like how just leveling in the pre-patch feels. So, the new system Chromie Time. When you start a new character, you get to level through whichever expansion's content you want to do, which is just sick, honestly. Players have been taking advantage of this by choosing the fastest XP zones, like XP per minute, XP per hour, but uh, people have also been spending time unlocking certain allied races and getting lore master achievements while leveling, which is like, you know, you level up a character and you're getting these lore master achievements and you're unlocking allied races it kind of knocks out like two or three birds with one stone which i think is honestly the way to go rather than hyper optimizing your routes unless you're going for like a speed leveling run or something like that which i don't think are particularly fun at least in my opinion now chromie time makes every zone level down to you and feel like current content and i did not expect this to be a fun thing at first whenever i heard about it but i think that blizzard just like nailed the implementation i was like completely wrong with my first impressions i think blizzard honestly nailed the implementation leveling feels so smooth right now and it's just like actually fun again it really is and i actually can't stop leveling now i cannot stop leveling at this time um really there's not much else to do in pre-patch and i thought like oh man this is gonna suck this is really gonna stink like it's like still like a month before freaking uh shadowlands launches and I, I don't mind it i'm having fun leveling and my brother got into the game now but i'll get into that in a little bit so leveling used to be like the absolute worst thing for a new player to do if imagine starting world of warcraft in bfa having to level the whole way up to 120 through every previous expansion and then doing the gearing system right this expedites that in like so much more than in bfa even with the 100 experience bonus at the uh, end of bfa right like you know once nihilotha was full cleared by everyone pretty much um if this is still better than that in my opinion it's still faster and more fun like before it used to just be so confusing for new players and long and tedious especially if you're a new player without heirlooms because new players don't start with heirlooms right and now it's to the point where it's so fun i'm literally leveling new characters in my free time because it's so damn fun 
Like I said, I even got my little brother to begin playing. He tried like three other times in BFA and just could not get into it because of the leveling system. It, it was so boring, unintuitive, not fun. You went from like zone to zone so fast. You level, out leveled zone so quick and you're like, why aren't I getting experience from this? It was really tough, honestly. It was really tough. And I, I might say this later again, but I, I really think that this is the best thing about the leveling revamp is that it's good for new players. It's good for new players. It's also great for current players too, because like me, I can go back and level up a bunch of alts for fun and like try out different zones that I may have not leveled during like current content, right? Like I didn't play during Legion, so uh, I was excited to go through like the high mountain campaign and stuff like that and like do Asuna and whatnot. Um, however, <laughs> doing Suramar was not fun. It was not fun. And it really just comes down to the fact that the barrier for entry was so big before. It was just absurd. And Blizzard made it magnitudes easier to pick up and play. And I think that with the popularity of the game on Twitch, along with the expansion's release coming up soon, we can see just like a massive influx of new players. And I think that WoW can like just make a complete turnaround. Uh, and, and I think it already is actually. It seems like it's been gaining new followers maybe towards the end of BFA or even maybe a little bit throughout BFA. Uh, it seems to have been gaining popularity, and uh, I think that it's not really a dying game anymore. I think it's actually going to be a growing game, especially uh, with Shadowlands launch. And I, I really do believe that this is probably the most, I, I would say that this is the most important feature of Shadowlands for the game to be healthy and growing. I think that this is more important than nearly any other feature in Shadowlands, honestly. And I might get some flack from that for more competitive players, right? Um, I myself tend to, you know, play more competitive aspects and like those be fine-tuned, but I think that for the game as a whole, I think that this is probably the most important change that Blizzard has made, and I think they did it very well, honestly. Another addition to this new leveling experience that I thought was awesome was Exiles Island, or Exiles Reach, I think it might be called, for new players. I only leveled through this once, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty fun, I thought it was a good experience for new players. Uh, and it's like just the new 1 to 10 leveling experience if you're a new player or starting a new character. And even for current players, it didn't feel bad to level through and I felt like it gave a good explanation of how to play for new players. Of course, the tips are always annoying, so like, just turn them off if you're a current player, uh, you know what you're doing, but that's like, I guess the one downside. Now, what would I suggest for current players who are in pre-patch and want to level some alts? I suggest figuring out what specs look fun to you honestly and play whatever you want to play and also figure out what leveling achievements you would like to get if you want to get certain lore masters or if you want to get certain uh, allied races and do that as well unless you want to unlock nightborn don't do that don't do not think you're going to be able to do that because it's going to take you can only start it at level 45 and it's going to take way past that i learned my lesson with that one it was tedious <laughs> but if you're missing any other allied races, pre-patch is seriously the time to unlock them. Like, no lie, it is the time. Also, I've done both the speed leveling routes and less efficient XP ones, and like, if I didn't check my slash plate or like time myself, which I didn't do super frequently, I, I really didn't notice the difference. I really did not notice the biggest difference between the speed leveling routes and the less efficient XP ones. And I think that's because if you're doing the zones that you think are exciting and you think are fun, uh, it, it's gonna go by just as fast as if you're like trying to do optimized routes and stuff like that. And with that, I would really suggest you to do the exact same thing. Like my buddy Josh, his favorite expansion was Mop. So he wanted to level through that stuff and he said he just loved it. He said it was pretty fun. But if you do wanna level fast, uh, here are the zones that are the fastest to level through. I'm just gonna list them off, honestly. Wad intro is incredibly fast. I think it's the best XP uh, given like per minute or whatever. And it's in like every speed running route. Gorgron's awesome. The quests, and I'm not sure if the bonus objectives are worth it at this point in time because they got nerfed. Um, but a, a Gorgron is a zone is just very good in general. Uh, Spires of Eric also in Wad is very good. And then for Horde, Silver Pine Forest and Hills, Bradfoot Hills. If you actually did all of those zones, I'm pretty sure that's what I did on my last run. I did all of those zones and you just get to 50, like pretty, like relatively quick if you do all of them. And uh, I, I think they're pretty fun. The downside though is some of the quests in Silver Pine Forest and Hills, Bradfoot Hills, you have like followers that help you on the quest and they kind of are buggy sometimes to be quite honest. And it's very frustrating whenever they bug out.
Another aspect that I think deserves the highest praise is the way that Blizzard was able to reintroduce character power progression through leveling. This felt really absent in BFA, honestly, but this time around, I feel like by level 20, like all characters progress similarly, but you know, in regards to their spec, they gain uh, different powers and their playstyle changes. But generally at the beginning, uh, up until level 20, you're like getting your main powers, your class abilities, and like your spenders, uh, and your builders, right? And then once you hit level 20, you start to diversify and you start to like, uh, you know, build on that core, uh, those core abilities that you have. You know, some, some play, some, uh, specs might get like, AOE spenders or something, which is cool. Not everyone gets those. You might get like, uh, you know, faster dotting abilities and stuff like that. I, I, I don't know. It, it, you end up, I feel like if each of the specs that I've played, I did like Shadow Priest, Shaman, um, uh, Frost DK, uh, I don't know why I'm blanking on the other ones right now, Druid, Balanced Druid, and Paladin. And I felt like all of them had like their own good progression system. Some of them did feel stronger than the others, but it's in general, uh, they all did feel like I was progressing like every so many levels and getting stuff that actually helped me Also the speed for a normal player going through these zones honestly is very well paced I have seen like super reactionary takes from people on different WoW subreddits and forums saying that the leveling is way too fast because speed levelers can level in less than four hours but that is like the vast minority of players and it requires an insane amount of consumables it's expensive and they're hot, hyper optimized routes with like people that are super good at executing uh, these routes, right? So I don't think that Blizzard should nerf the experience, uh, even though speed levelers can do it in like less than four hours right now with these bonuses that we currently have. I think that it's a, a quite good pace for the average player, I would say. Now, when you compare this leveling experience to buying a character boost, the math just doesn't favor leveling actually. And so, okay, so let me go through this. $60 for a level 50 divided by eight hours to level a character means that you're earning $7.50, right? $7.50 an hour in value whenever you're leveling a character, right? That's like money that you're saving if you would have bought a character boost. So that means that if you make more than $7.50 an hour, you're actually just better off working some extra hours to pay for the character boost. But I actually have bought some character boosts in BFA, right? And I don't think I'll ever buy a character boost again with this new leveling experience because of how fun leveling is. Leveling is just so fun right now. And I, I could not see myself spending that money because I, I just enjoy it actually, I enjoy it. And this is what Blizzard needs with all of its progression systems. They need to make them both fun to do, like fun to actually play. It's that is literally the content and then also reward you with something at the end. So the reward is like a level 50 character and then maybe some achievements and stuff, but like a, a tertiary reward is, is you having fun doing the content and that is like what Blizzard's goal and that's what games goals generally should be is like, yes, you get something at the end, but that is not the, uh, that should not be the driving factor. The driving factor should be that the content is fun and you get something at the end. So that's my take on the new leveling system. I actually love it. I'm so happy with this new leveling system and I'm going to be continuously leveling characters until Shadowlands releases and then Shadowlands I'm going to be leveling characters from 50 to 60 then um, and like doing end game content with my mage and possibly like my rogue. I might do a priest as well. Um, and I seriously could not imagine leveling characters the old way after having this this now. Like I seriously could not possibly level characters 1 to 120 and, and this is just so much better. Seriously. So if you have free time and are severely addicted to World of Warcraft like myself, consider spending some time leveling an order or two before Shadowlands drops and all of our time is consumed by doing Shadowlands content. This is the optimal time to be leveling new characters. With all that said, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I stream on Twitch on Tuesdays and Sundays. I'm on like a hiatus until Shadowlands drops pretty much or like at least the Shadowlands uh, like Scourge invasion drops and I'll probably start streaming again. But make sure to give me a follow on that. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and leave some comments on what you think about the new leveling system if you feel the same way as me or if you think there's some stuff that should be changed. Thank you a bunch and I will see you around.